Hey folks, so if you happen to buy this cool little uh, mini ITX motherboard, I'm going to show you how uh, to install the solid state drive. Um, physically, we're not going to do the operating system and all that, but uh, I'm just going to install it. So, um, you can do this one of two ways. One would be to have your, uh, build this outside of your computer and then uh, put it in the case. And for the sake of the video, though, uh, it works out better for me if this is actually uh, installed. So this is on the bottom side of the motherboard, okay? And two things we need. You've got a uh, package inside of your box with a standoff and a uh, M.2 screw. And then, of course, we need our solid-state drive. So we're first going to uh, put the... Uh, standoff in, if I can get the packaging open. And I believe they uh, provided two of these, which is good, because you will uh, undoubtedly, uh, somebody out there will lose it, and you'll be uh, wondering, hey, where do I get it from? So this last spot should be 2280 uh, for the longer M.2s, and we're putting our standoff in, and I'm... Um, Putting that in nice and tight. Now we can put our M.2 NVMe in. You want to come in at a uh, 30 to 45 degree angle. Um, this one actually looks a little different, folks. It doesn't look like you're given that option. So strike what I just said. This is going to be interesting. Um, Okay, we're actually coming in about uh, 10 degrees, and boom. So normally you come in at a much steeper angle of attack. And now that we've got that in there, I might have to move uh, the camera a little bit. Let's see. Always a good idea to use a magnetic uh, screwdriver. And I need to, you need to come in 90 degrees so you don't cross thread. And fasten it down nice and tight, and it's in. So, oddly, it looks like uh, the standoff uh, possibly creates a little more gap than you would want. Is it uh, looks like it sits a little further off on this end than that. But uh, there you go, folks. That's how you install it. Um, hey, check out my unboxing for this if you haven't seen it. And obviously, we'll do some gaming with it and uh, it will be called out. Right now it's got an awesome 10th gen Celeron in it. Um, we've got four 10th gen CPUs. Don't ask me why I decided to buy that one. Um, probably because I'll be the only person on YouTube that does. Uh, but hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.